Hello there, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today, I'm gonna show you how to draw Slimer from the real Ghostbusters. So come on, let's get started. I don't know what's going on today. Is it nostalgia for what we grew up with? Is it that these cartoons are hitting a resurgence on cable? I don't know, but I'm getting a lot of requests for certain characters. One of those is Slimer from the real Ghostbusters. So let's do it. Slimer is just a bulbous green blob of a ghost, right? So let's, let's give him all of those proportions we need to, right? So let's see. I've got this circle here. I'm going to draw in another bigger circle right down here. And then we're going to connect them at some point. But in the meantime, let's just work on the face right now. He has a humanoid nose. It's very bulbous, just like that. Then depending on his excitement level, these eyes grow bigger and closer together. They're yellow eyes with small pupils, just like so. Now, don't be afraid to throw in wrinkles and bags under his eyes. We can exaggerate lines all around him. He has a big brow that moves along with the eyes. If the eyes are big, this brow goes up. If he's looking down, those brows will come down and they'll cover a lot of his eye. But we're going to give him a happy expression today. We're going to give him a great big, great big smile. Give him the laugh line. And then the big cheeks to go around those laugh lines, just like that. The Slimer has a bald head. There's no hair to worry about. Let's just... Now we can really give him that exaggerated mouth. There we go. Nice and big. So when we give him a nice big wide open mouth, we got to give him a gum line. And then he has four teeth that come off of the gums. I'm gonna give him Gonna give him those three in a row. And then we're going to skip a space and give him another one right here. Gotta make sure that it looks like he's missing a tooth. Okay. And then, let's see, we're gonna give him the uvula there. Got to make sure that it's a wide open mouth. We see all the way in. And then he's got this great big, hugely exaggerated tongue. And a very, very wide lower lip. Now I can see that that initial circle I drew down here, um, it's not it's not where I went with the sketch. So I'm going to shorten it because I don't want him too big. Yeah. Nope. This this is the size I want. All right. So. 
he has all kinds of wrinkles and divots and I mean, he's just a big blob of of ectoplasm right so he does have a tail it's in the back he's kind of shaped like a duck in the back um, and then the arms come out of here so when when they were writing the screenplay for the original film this character was actually supposed to be played by uh, the Blues Brother actor John Belushi um, he ended up passing away before the film was shot so they they used a puppet And they were supposed to model it after Belushi, but um, I don't know. I don't think he looks like Belushi at all, which is which is fine. He has humanoid hands, arms that come out of this blob-like body. Now, for the animated series, he was voiced by Frank Welker who was also the voice of Ray from the from the team and if you really pay attention to Ray's voice you'll hear Fred from Scooby-Doo but lately he's also the voice of Scooby-Doo as well so a little trivia for you that you didn't ask for and there you go, guys. There's Slimer from the real Ghostbusters. If you like drawing videos like this, I've got a ton right here for you. I want to thank you guys so much for drawing with me. And until the next video, we will see you later.